We will be talking zoning and gentleman's agreement at this time. We did uh, mention earlier that the uh, Minister uh, for Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashala, has um, given a thumbs up to the gentleman's agreement on which zone of the country will be bringing in the next president. Uh, that's uh, 2023. To help us, you know, uh, talk about this and its sustenance, so to speak, uh, we are joined uh, by Mr. Shegun Sopito. Uh, he is a public affairs analyst. Thank you very much for joining us on The Breakfast. Thanks for having me. Felicity, good morning, Nigeria. All right, let, let's uh, just get your thoughts on honor. Do we have honor in Nigerian politics? And how would that play out now that Fashola is saying a gentleman's agreement, you're bound by honor to respond, respect it? Well, uh, you know, to your first question, yes, there is honor in Nigerian politics. <laughs> um, you, you, you might be surprised to hear that, but in a, in a twisted kind of way, Yes, there is honor. Um, that honor is not necessarily uh, based off um, the desire to do the right thing. Um, I, I think it's, uh, it's simply, uh, with all due apologies to um, <laughs> whoever might feel offended, maybe you're a politician or something, it's almost like the honor among thieves, you know? So we know that um, if we don't honor this, when it is our turn, um, you know, we would also suffer. So it's more that kind of honor rather than the honor of wanting to do the right thing. So, yeah, I mean, they will, uh, if you look at um, all of the permutations when it comes to zoning arrangements and all of that over the, over the years, you find that to a large extent, they've always been, 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 been respected and honored. Um, the emergence of um, President uh, Goodluck Jonathan, for example, was you know a, a result of that so some sort of honoring of that type of agreement where you know it's uh, okay um, uh, it, it's uh, the previous um, occupant of the office has served the term of the north and it's time for you to move this back to the south and you know those types of um, discussions and, and and he emerged so yes um, in the case of the APC I would imagine that they, they would honor it but for Fashola to come up with this now would suggest that there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we as ordinary Nigerians may not be privy to in terms of, uh, you know, gamesmanship and um, uh, uh, how, how would I put it now? Uh, uh, planning towards 2023 already. And you can already hear the noises from certain people who have a stake and who have an interest. Um, the likes of uh, Governor Rufai of Cardinal State, um, the recent defection of uh, Governor Umahi, you know, in, in the Southeast, uh, there's all of the talk around uh, the Vice President of Shibajo, there's all of the talk around um, uh, the national leader of the APC, Bola Metinubu, you know, and all of that. So all of those things are already going on. <laughs> so, so that's why Fashola is bringing this up now. But okay. I think that eventually that zoning agreement will be honored and the APC will have no choice but to ensure that a Southern candidate emerges as the party's flag bearer for 2023. All right, Mr. Mr. Uh, 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 Shago, let me, let me go back a little bit. The last few years uh, have uh, generated a lot of talk about nepotism um, and, you know, all of its children. Uh, I, I want us to, I want your thoughts really on the conversation on merit versus zoning. I, I saw an article late last night, you know, speaking about the idea that zoning might be dead in Nigeria. Um, so I want your thoughts on, you know, which of them we truly should be looking towards now as a, a Nigeria, as a, as a country, um, seeing how far we've come and where we're hoping to, to go. Zoning versus yeah. merit. How do we get the right people in power? How do we get um, duly qualified people in power um, moving forward? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, well, um, it's, it's, I think it's an eternal debate. And I doubt that it will go away anytime soon. Maybe in the next 50 years or the next 100 years, you know, um, talking about the zoning versus merit issue. Um, 
uh, uh, from a purely purist and idealistic point of view, you know, one would like to think, oh, um, let the best person, you know, the most qualified um, in terms of competence, in terms of temperaments, uh, you know, uh, you know temp temperament and all of that, let the best person um, um, just occupy whatever offices are available to be occupied. But I think that that's an idealistic uh, perspective. I think that, um, you know, uh, in the real world and from a point of pragmatism, given our history, given the divisions, given, you know, things like uh, uh, the civil war that's happened in the past, the, the e extreme mistrust and distrust amongst the various ethnic nationalities, ethnic groups, religious um, leanings and divides, um, it would almost be naive to think that things like zoning will ever go, will, will go away now, anytime soon. Um, we must remember that Nigeria, um, in reality, is a young country, you know, uh, <laughs> relatively, 60 years of independence. Um, so sometimes we forget that the countries that we like to reference, you know, um, the developed societies that we like to reference, have been at this game for centuries. I mean, uh, the United States of America that has been in the news in the last two months or thereabouts for obvious reasons, is over 200 years old as a democracy, you know, and, and you, can, you can look around you around the world and you find that a lot of the democracies we reference are very old, right? So we're still in, 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 in the developmental stages, whether we like it or not, 60 years is a long time to us as the people on the table right now, you know, but from the larger picture and with a sense of perspective, we're still very young. So it will be naive to think that at this stage of our development as a nation, as a country, we can do away with things like zoning, you know, federal character. I personally don't like those things. <laughs> I personally would like to see pure, absolute unbridled competence, meritocracy, you know, um, driven systems running in the, in, in the country. But I have come to the realization that, you know, for now, um, it will be too much to ask of us, right? So zoning will still be there. Federal character will still be there. All these little contraptions like quota systems, you know, uh, catchment areas and all of those funny things that we've come up with just to recognize the diversity, the, 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 the large um, um, divides that exist okay. within Okay, away the from the issue of... You know, um, we'll have to be... We'll have Mr. To be Sopita, away from the, the, you know, the seeming focus on the um, zoning issue, uh, there's something else that Fashila said I'd like to get your perspective on. He talked about, um, he was asked about performance. He said if uh, the, let me see if I can find um, that, can the party retain power in 2023? And his response was, certainly, if we keep to our promises, it's that simple. Uh, that's um, uh, his response uh, to that. Do you believe that the performance of this administration, uh, to I think to some extent, will allow them to uh, get into uh, the presidency come 2023? I mean, that's a big question, Felicity. You know, I, I, I think, sadly, sadly enough, um, the, the considerations that will determine which party wins the presidency and control of the center uh, or even control at the state level, you know, the national level, will not be performance, sadly. Um, it will be everything else but. Um, so if we were to base it just purely on performance, I mean, this administration has not done well. Now, if you now you just know, I mean, oppose that, there, there, if you, you now... You can, if you now, sorry, Mr. Sopito, if you now just oppose your concern with what he also said about opposition, he says um, the opposition um, in Nigeria has not shown the capacity to upstage um, the APC. Um, these are two uh, positions working to be uh, reinstated <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, and opposition not viable him. enough. What's your thinking? Yeah, I, I agree with him. And, you know, that's why I'm saying it's sad because if it was purely based on performance, the APC has no business. In fact, they, they, they should come nowhere near um, 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 the presidency in 2023. 
But unfortunately, the opposition um, doesn't even exist. That's, that's just the sad reality. And it's because of the way um, our politics and the governance structures have been, uh, have been put together. Our politicians, our political parties, our political structures depend on control of the center. So whoever has control of the resources at the center is more likely than not to retain power at the center. So okay. um, what can be, the, for the PDP as a party, which for now is the biggest opposition um, body in the country, to upstate the APC, they have to have their game right. They've got to recognize some of the things that they All did right. wrong that led to their um, ouster Sh in 2015. Uh, um, I, I they've want to... to they, 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 they've got to deal with Mr. The, the Shopito, structural issues. Kindly hold on. Uh, so I can I can just have, have this uh, last one uh, uh, um, for you, please. In thirty seconds, tell us about the chances of the southeast and their clamoring for southeast presidency. With all our talk about zoning now, do they really have a chance? I think they have a very slim chance. It's very very slim, you know, because of the nature of our politics and where we are in our political history. The chance is slim, but if they are able to unite behind a single charismatic character that is acceptable nationally. They stand a chance. The, the, right. the, 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 the likelihood, unfortunately, is that they won't do that. But if they can't do that, then they stand a chance. OK. Um, I think that's all the time that we have um, on this conversation. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. We can see you on the road this morning. So we want to wish you a very interesting Wednesday ahead. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day. You too, sir. You too. Um, you know, I, I wanted to um, highlight something. When, when, I, when I referenced that a director um, of um, the Progressive Governors Forum, that uh, Dr. Salih Lukman, has a contrary opinion. Uh, he's saying that um, the party's presidential ticket would be open to all members to compete in 2023. This, is, this contradicts the position of uh, Fashola and some other leaders of the party. And that yeah. already sends a signal that is unhealthy because if the party doesn't seem to be speaking with one voice and core issues like zoning and restructuring, what are the chances that, you know, they will that, honor that gentleman? That's why I initially, you know, Ask these two questions, you know, about first of all, how binding is the gentleman's agreement? You know, it, when we're still talking about political aspirations, a lot of people are still very hungry for that seat, uh, regardless of where they're from or what you know how competent they are. And also, you know, like Chegan Shopper also mentioned, um, we also, I think, I, I personally don't think we need to wait till we're 200 years. Um, old in democracy before we start to get things right. We can start getting things right now and we should truly start looking for competence. Yes, there's competence in every uh, 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 zone of the country. You know, it's not limited to one side, but um, we should, truly should start making that our focus and not it's our turn. Or oh, you guys have had it for eight years, now let's have it. That, that's truly not <laughs> where we should be. Well, we see what happens in the coming days. Um, 2023 is not so far away like most people think. We'll continue the Hello. conversation. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.